I have a funeral to attend. I don't know whose it is yet, but no amount of soft soliloquies can serenade the sinkhole that's been expanding in my chest. No amount of preparing can ready me for the loss I'm about to inherit. There's nothing I can do to stop it. I've tried wishing upon stars, but the past few nights have been cloudy. I've tried throwing coins in wishing wells, but in return, all I got back was the echoes of hearing what little hope I had hit the bottom of what seems like the abyss. Soon, I will be mentally stuck in a time I can never go back to. It's kind of like that nostalgic feeling most people get when they see something that reminds them of their childhood. I'm angry, but no amount of Balled up fists can protect me from this next punch life is going to throw, so I'll scream till my throat splits and I won't quit. I'll curse the heavens because I'm not ready for you to leave me. I'm thirsty. Someone pass me a glass of holy water and I'll use it to cleanse my palate so I can taste the foul I love yous I didn't say when you were alive. I still remember the last time I told you I'd see you later. Who knew I'd see you later, six foot deep in a new dress, Codename casket, embroidered with mahogany, your dress, decorated, stitched, with roses and teardrops if I could. I bargain with death and give him what little left I have to offer. I'd give him the air from my lungs so this way you'd have all the air to breathe, the heart in my chest, and with every beat you get a reminder of how much I love you. Now that you're gone, my siblings will... Look up to me like I'm Jesus, but I'm not Jesus. I've been reading this poem for three days straight, hoping you'll rise again. But all that's done is remind me that I'll never see you rise again. I'm chained to the five stages of grief. Denial says, Grandma's not dead. She's just lost in the bakery section. They'll stop and shop because she likes the smell of freshly baked bread. Anger says, Grandma's not dead. She's not dead. Stop telling me that. Bargaining got me questioning if I should make deals with the devil because... Honestly, God's not answering fast enough, and I want you back right now. Mm. Depression got me in my bed for weeks, and I can't sleep, and I've even made friends with my paralysis demon. I might even give him a name, something similar to yours, so when I call it out, I'm comforted just knowing someone's coming. Acceptance whispers, she's dead. She's not coming back, and honestly, I just can't accept that. Your death cause cacophonous symphonies that will echo through time and because of that time is different now and it makes no sense but life goes on now it won't be the same but life goes on Thank you.